In this video, let's take a look at vectoring trinomials where a does not equal 1 using the reverse box or the area method is called. So first you always factor out a greatest common factor if possible. Then you multiply the a times the c value and you're going to find factors of a times c that add or subtract to equal b. You're going to rewrite the trinomial as a polynomial of four terms, but we're going to put it in a box and then we're going to factor out the greatest common factor from each row and column of our box. And then what's left over are the factors. So let's take a look at number one. We have 2m squared plus 11m minus 21. So 2, 11, and 21 do not have a greatest common factor between them. So let's go ahead and multiply the a times the c, which is 2 times negative 21. So I'm just going to write that we need to multiply to get negative 42. And then we need to add to get the middle term, b, which is 11. So we need to figure out, let's say, numbers that give us 42. So 1 times 42, 2 times 21, 3 times 14, and 6 times 7. So out of these options, 3 and 14 are 11 apart from each other. So those are the ones I need. And then let's look at what our signs are going to be. We have a negative for the third sign or the sign of C. Therefore, they're going to be different, and our larger number needs to be a positive. So positive 14 and a negative 3. So what we want to do now is put our numbers into a box. So you put your first term, 2m squared, in the top left corner of the box. So 2m squared. You put the last corner in the the last term, excuse me, in the last corner of the box, so negative 21. And then these numbers that we have figured out, the negative 3 and the 14, are going to take the place of the 11. Because negative 3m and 14m do add up to give us 11. So we haven't really changed what we're given. We're just changing what it looks like. And that's always okay with math. So then you take the first row or column, it doesn't matter which one you start with, and you want to try to take out the greatest common factor of that row or column. So I'm going to start with this first row, 2m squared minus 3m. And I see that I can take out, they each have an m that I can take out, but they don't have anything else. But that's fine, you just put it right out there to the side. So then let's take out the greatest common factor of the bottom row. So I have 14m minus 21. They don't divide by 14, but they do both divide by 7. So let's take out a 7. And then you want to switch and look at the column. So I'm going to look at this first column of terms, which is 2m squared and 14m. So I see I could take out a 2 from each of those and an m and put that at the top. And then I look at the second column, negative 3m and negative 21. So they're negative. Let's take out a negative. And then I see that they both would divide evenly by 3. And so what we have left on the outside are our factors. So that would be m plus 7 and 2m minus 3. And that's it. Let's try another one. 4x squared minus 8x plus 3. So 4, 8, and 3 do not have a greatest common factor. So let's go ahead and multiply the four times the three and set that up. So four times three gives us 12 and we need to add to get the B value, which is negative eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up our box. We can go ahead and put the first and last terms in here and then we're gonna put the rest in just a minute. So four X squared always can go at the top left corner and the last number can go in the bottom right corner. And then we're gonna take a look at 12 and what'll help us add up to eight. So factors that give us 12 are one times 12, two times six, and three times four. So we know that we have a positive sign, so both numbers are gonna to need to be negative. So if these were negative, negative two plus negative six would help add up to be negative eight. And then they will also multiply to give us positive 12. And when you rewrite them in your box, 
negative 2x and negative 6x. It doesn't matter which one you put in either box. But we're writing that because they added together would be equivalent to negative 8x that we were given. So we really haven't changed what we're given. We've changed how it's written, which is always okay. So let's take a look at our first row, 4x squared minus 2x, and see what they have in common. So they both divide evenly by 2, and then they both at least have 1x. So I'm going to take out 2x for my greatest common factor of the first row. The second row has negative 6x plus 3. So a good rule of thumb is if that 1 on the edge of the box is negative, go ahead and take out a negative. And then they both divide evenly by 3. Then let's look at the first column. So 4x squared minus 6x. I would want to take out a 2 and an x. And then in the second column, negative 2x plus 3. I actually can't take out any other number other than 1, and I do want to take out a negative, so I'm just going to take out a negative 1, because you just put that if you can't take anything else out. And then what we have on the outside are the factors. So let's just write them horizontally. So 2x minus 3 and 2x minus 1 are our factors. All right, let's look at another one. 6b squared plus 5b minus 4. So 6, 5, and 4 do not have a greatest common factor between the three of them. So we're going to go ahead and multiply 6 times negative 4, which gives us negative 24. Then we need to add up to get our b value, which is 5. So let's list out things that give us 24, factors that give us 24. So 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 4, or excuse me, 3 times 8, 4 times 6. So we need to have, let's check out our signs. We have a negative sign for C, so our signs are going to be different. And our largest number needs to be a positive. So if I go in and make it so that the larger number out of these two is the positive one, which one would make the most sense? So if we want to add up to 5, then the negative 3 and the 8 definitely makes the most sense. So negative 3 times 8 gives us negative 24, and negative 3 plus 8 gives us 5. So let's set up our box and give yourself plenty of room to fill in the terms. We put the first term in the top left corner, the last term in the bottom right corner, and then in place of 5b, we're going to put negative 3b and positive 8b because those are equivalent to 5b if we were to add them back together. Then let's take out the greatest common factor from the first, or let's, let's start with the same thing we've been starting with. The first row is 6b squared minus 3b. So 6b squared minus 3b, they have 3 and a b in common. So we put that out to the side. Then the second row has 8b minus 4. So those have a 4 in common. So we'll put that out, but we can't take out any Bs since they both don't have a B. Let me get a little lighter color. So 6B squared and 8B are in the first column. So for 6B squared and 8B, we could take out a 2 and a B. And then for the second column, we have negative 3B minus 4. So from negative 3B and negative 4, we can only take out the negative and a 1. But that's okay. Just pick, take out a 1 if you can't take anything else. And then just write out the factors now that we know what they are, which are these on the side. Okay, let's take a look at one more example. Number 4 says 7m squared minus 19m minus 6. So these do not have a greatest common factor, but you always want to think about that just in case there is one. So let's multiply a times c to get negative 42. 7 times negative 6 gives us negative 42. And then add up to get b, which is negative 19. So let's see. Factors that give us 42. So 1 times 42, 2 times 21, 3 times 14, and 6 times 7. Then let's take a look at our sign rules. We have a negative C, so the signs are going to be different, 
and the larger number needs to be a negative. So positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So knowing what our signs are can help us pick out the right pair. I see out of this list, which ones would add up to negative 19? So these are too far apart, these are too close together, and these two right here are just the right amount apart. So we have two times negative 21 gives us negative 42, and then two plus negative 21 would give us negative 19. So let's draw a box and fill it in. So put your first term in the first top left corner and the last term in the bottom right corner. And then take these numbers that we figured out and add an, a variable to them. So we have 2m and negative 21m in place of 19m. And then we work to pick out our greatest common factor from each row and each column. And it really doesn't matter which row or column you start with, as long as you do all four eventually. I'm just gonna keep starting with the same one to keep things consistent. So 7m squared and 2m, I can just take out an m. Let's look at the second row. We have negative 21m minus 6. So we definitely want to take out the negative. And then the largest number that divides evenly of those two is a 3. Then let's take a look at our first column. So 7m squared minus 21m, they will both divide evenly by 7 and we can divide out an m. Then our last column is 2m minus 6. So the largest number we could take out of 2m and negative 6 would just be a positive 2. So then we write out our factors m minus 3 and 7m plus 2. All right, so that's it for factoring trinomials where a is greater than 1 using our reverse box, or sometimes we call that the area method.